All right, so for this video, we're gonna be doing a quick introduction to negative exponents. Before we get to negative exponents, let's remind ourselves what powers are. So b to the x power means you have x factors of b. And again, factors are things being multiplied. So we have x number of b's being multiplied, saying the same thing, these two statements. Looking at the power eight to the fourth, the eight is the base and four is the exponent, just using this to back up and make sure we're all on the same page. So writing that in expanded form or using multiplication, we're gonna have four eights being multiplied together. So here we go, we have one, two, three, four eights being multiplied together, eight to the fourth power. Now let's do a quick exploration to see how these negative exponents behave. We'll start out by doing two to the third power. So this means we have three twos being multiplied together. So that's two times two times two, three twos being multiplied. Two times two is four times two makes eight. Next up, two squared or two to the second power. So that's gonna be two twos being multiplied. Two times two makes four. Now for two to the first power there, you just have one two, so it's two. Now, before we start moving further to the right, let's look at our pattern. We're going from eight to four to two. We're dividing by two each time. So eight divided by two makes four, divided by two makes two. So we're dividing by two every step we go to the right-hand side. So following that for two to the zero power, four divided by two is two, two divided by two makes one. Now for two to the negative first power, we're gonna continue that pattern. One divided by two makes one half. Following that pattern for two to the negative two, one half divided by two makes one over four or one fourth. So quick side note, one over four is the same as one over two times two. So two to the negative two power is gonna have two twos in the denominator. For the last one, two to the negative three, one fourth divided by two makes one over eight. One over eight can be rewritten as one over two times two times two. We have three twos in the denominator for two to the negative third power. Real quick, b to the zero power equals one. There are some exceptions to that, so we say most of the time, but if you're watching this video, b, any number to the zero power is gonna equal one. Now let's look at six to the negative fourth power. So rem remember, six to the fourth power means four sixes being multiplied together. So six to the negative four is gonna be the opposite of that. Instead of being multiplied, we're gonna have four sixes being divided. So let's back up and let's look at six to the fourth power, that's gonna be four sixes being multiplied, six to the fourth power. So the, the way that we divide these four sixes is we're gonna write it as one over. So this fraction bar here is talking about division. So here we're dividing four factors of six. Now we can rewrite this using an exponent as well. So that would be one over. And now we have how many sixes being multiplied? One, two, three, four. We have four sixes being multiplied in the denominator. So when we look at negative exponents, six to the f negative fourth power is one over six to the positive fourth power. So for this example, we're gonna use that same pattern. B to the negative third power is gonna be one over B to the positive third power. Now, if you do, these negative exponents do have a reciprocal type idea. So if we're thinking B to the negative third over one, its reciprocal would be one over and then b to the positive third power. So this negative exponent has a reciprocal type idea to it. So here we have b in the numerator, here we have b in the denominator. We're going from a negative three to a positive three when it comes to exponents. Here we have one over five to the negative eighth power. So that's gonna equal five to the positive eight. We're going from a negative eight in the denominator to a positive eight. And again, if we're thinking fractions, that's gonna be in a numerator. We normally don't write over one, it's just assumed or it's invisible or however you wanna think of it, but it's still a reciprocal type idea. We got a five and a power of eight in the denominator, negative eight, and that's gonna be in the numerator as five to the positive eight. 
Now, this idea does work with uh, the product property, power to a power, the quotient property, all your properties of exponents. So, quick example for power property, 6 to the negative 4th times 6 to the 7th. Well, our base is going to be 6, and then it's going to be to the. So, to find the exponent here, we're going to add these exponents. So, negative 4 plus 7 is going to make a positive 3. Power to a power. 6 to the negative 4th to the 7th power. Again, our base is going to be a 6. And then the exponent for power to a power is going to be a negative 4 times 7. So negative 4 times 7 makes a negative 28. Now, if we re want to rewrite this using only positive exponents, that would be 1 over 6 to the positive 28th power. And quotient property. Here we're going to have 6 to the negative 4th over 6 to the 7th. We have the same base being divided, so our base is going to be a 6. And then to find that exponent, we're going to subtract the exponent. So we're going to go negative 4, check it out, minus 7. So negative 4 minus 7 makes negative 11. Again, if we want to rewrite that using positive exponents, that would be 1 over 6 to the positive 11th power. One more example here. And this one we are going to break up into two smaller questions using quotient to a power property. So we're going to have a 5 to the negative fourth power, and we're going to have in the denominator 6 to the negative fourth power there. So when we go to write our answer, this 5 to the negative fourth, that's going to be a over. 5 to the 4th power. So this 5 to the negative 4th is going to be over 5 to the positive 4th power. Now let's look at the 1 over 6 to the negative 4th. So we're thinking reciprocals again. So that's going to be a 6 in the numerator instead of the denominator. So six, 1 over 6 to the negative 4th is 6 to the positive 4th in a numerator instead. Again, here we're thinking reciprocal. We're going from a 5, 6 to a 6 over 5. We're going from a negative exponent to a positive exponent. We're doing reciprocal. So real quick, wrap up here. Any number to the 0 power equals 1. And then if you have a number or a variable to the negative exponent, it's going to be in the denominator. Again, we're thinking reciprocals. And that goes whether you're going from a negative to a positive or a positive to a negative exponent. It goes either way. We're just doing one over. It goes from a denominator, denominator to numerator, or numerator to denominator whenever that exponent goes from positive to negative. All right, so I hope that helps. Hope you have a great rest of your day, start to your day, great evening, or whatever time you might be watching this.